Okay, we'll start with our first question of the evening here. We'll start with you, Heidi. Thank you. What are your professional qualifications for the office of the Kern County Board of Supervisors? And if elected to the Kern County Board of Supervisors, how long do you plan on serving? And also, do you plan on seeking a higher office in the future? Thank you for the opportunity to answer all those questions. First of all, you know, pretty much from the time I was young, I've been engaged in politics. But becoming a journalist and covering politics gave, you, gave me a really unique opportunity to learn not just how people run for office, but how they make promises they don't keep. And, and I've spent a lot of time holding politicians at the local, the state, and the federal level accountable. And I think that that's a unique experience. Um, since I left the private industry and went to work for the government, the opportunity to work within the County of Kern, collaborating with multiple departments, has also given me a, a unique opportunity to learn the strengths and the weaknesses of our departments intimately. I've worked on the Meth Reduction Task Force, on the Gang Prevention Task Force. I've worked, put together the Water Safety Coalition, and these are all types of of opportunities where I get to work with the departments and just see how ineffective we can be sometimes as a county government. Um, the best coalitions that I've been able to put together are ones like the Safe Surrender Baby Coalition because that is not just government. That involves private industry, it involves churches, and it involves nonprofits who have a role in changing their community. And I think that that's the best way for government to work together. No, I'm not going to run for higher office. Um, the most I would spend here would be 12 years because that would be about the time that my daughters would be needing my attention in college. So no, no, no intentions whatsoever to seek higher office. Okay. And Mr. Gleason, the same question to you. Okay, thanks. Um, I'll take those questions backwards. I'll say first that uh, I have absolutely zero intention of running for any other office other than county supervisor. And my wife would kill me if I had agreed to do that. And besides that, I really have no intention of doing that. I have um, my maximum tour, I don't know, I can't tell you how long I plan on doing it. My goal is to finish four years and have a pulse and keep moving and we'll see at that time. Skill sets and experience levels that I have to bring to bear to lend you to believe that I would be a successful and effective um, county supervisor. First of all, I think I, my ideals identify pretty closely with Teapot. And I think I would bring a, 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 a similar uh, force to, um, or opinions to, uh, to have discussions with. I have experience, let me start again. Uh, my experience level in the Navy, I've led squadrons with hundreds of people, dozens of jets, and millions of dollars of budgets. I've led men into combat. I've led multi uh, million dollar weapons programs back in PACs, which were national competencies with thousands of employees. My final job, I was a uh, commanding officer of a base in charge of multi-million dollar budgets, thousands of people, the second largest employer, employer in Kern County. I have the experiences that can, lend credibility to my claim that translating those, am I done? Translating those to skills would be fairly simple for me to do that on the board. Thank you. Yes. Okay, as I said earlier, I have absolutely no intention to go for a higher office. I would um, hope to stay in this position eight to 12 years. I think after that time, you need fresh blood, new ideas. The reason why I think I am qualified is it's an extension of what I do right now. The county supervisor facilitates, and that's what I do. I facilitate. I bring parties together. I help solve problems. I look at issues in the communities and fix those problems. One of the, I, I can give an example, up in the Inyo County, they have the uh, travel management up in the forest. I actually brought together the parties, parties that wanted the roads closed, parties that wanted the roads open. We had a positive interaction, and because of that, we actually received award at the nonprofit that I sit in. It's all about bringing people together, looking for a common goal, common interest, and go moving forward. That's just one example. I've been able to look at, um, Another example is the Native Americans. I work for a utility. There was an opportunity and I didn't see the utility. I didn't see my company reaching out to the Native Americans. I was very successful in, in explaining and sharing the sovereignty. And so we were able to bring the Native Americans on board. I work for a utility. <coughs> transparency. I totally understand transparency. We're highly regulated. 
Mr. Freeland. Sure. Uh, I too am not interested in higher office. And I, I would probably uh, run for county supervisor as long as number one is that uh, I personally felt that I was uh, uh, doing a good job for the constituents, because that's who we work for as a constituents. But more importantly, do the constituents believe I'm doing a good job? And uh, if they do not feel I'm doing a good job, I'm out of here, because I'm, I'm running for one reason is we do need new blood. I'm not a professional politician. I don't care for professional politics. We need to get new blood cycled into our, in our political process on a regular basis. And I would be the first to get out so new blood could come in. In, in terms of my uh, experience, uh, like I said, I have 34 years of, uh, of not politics, 34 years of public service. I've, I've led people, uh, often in very dangerous situations, like wildland firefighter and, and things of that nature. I have uh, managed multi-million dollar budgets, very complex budgets in the federal system. And uh, one thing I did too, as I was on, this, on these command staffs that I did travel all over the nation, uh, where lives are at risk and, and did service for my country that way. As I also mentioned, I, I did serve as a consultant for Kern County uh, for three or four years to help Kern County in a lot of uh, a complex and controversial federal land management issues. I also um, are, have served with my community well on, on a lot of uh, service organizations. I brought in $800,000 uh, from the Forest Service and, and BLM dollars for things like fire safe councils, chambers. As a hospital foundation president, I brought in uh, $103,000 for our hospital up in Kern, Kern Valley. Mr. Holloway. I, to the question would I run for higher office, I live by a philosophy that to condemn opportunity without investigation is the height of stupidity. So if I found an opportunity where I could be effective and help my constituents, I would definitely consider higher office. As having said that, I think that the hardest role of, of government is local government. I can't tell you how many nights I've stood in line or out in front of an Albertson store with my ice cream melting with that constituent that said, you got a minute? and uh, you can't hide from your constituents in local government. The next best place to be, I think, is the county supervisor position because we do so many things that affect government and our constituents day in and day out. And at county level, you actually can uh, facilitate change. And to me, that's what people want. They're sick and tired of politicians blaming one side, blaming the other. They want, you, you get elected to create results. The one thing that distinguishes me from the other candidates up here is I'm the only candidate that's ever written a payroll check. I'm the only one that's ever filled out a DE-88 form. I'm the only one that's been to an unemployment appeals board and realized the effects of the regulatory environment and restrictions on local business. And I think somebody has to be at the table that understands the business side of the equation. And I bring that to the table and I can relate to elected officials who never, they may have empathy, but they have no internal understanding of what the delay what regulatory delays do from a cash flow standpoint and how it discourages creation and how it keeps job growth from happening in our county. And somebody has to be at the, at the forefront of that debate. I, uh, from my government standpoint with the League of California Cities, I was very active in creating, uh, getting the initiative 1A passed. Okay. You're so Next nice question. when you do that. <laughs> I know it feels like there's not enough time. 